Hey guys, thought I'd take a few minutes to show y'all what I've been up to this past winter. I imagine y'all probably noticed what I'm wearing and are wondering what that's all about. Well, I've always been fascinated with American history, in particular the 1800s. That's a period of time that I've really been interested in. And anyways, that interest has led me here, wanting to experiment with some clothes from that time period. And so, you know, I thought I'd have some fun with it and explore that thought process a little bit. I'm basing this look around the early 1800s, probably a few years after Lewis and Clark, when the long hunter frontiersmen of the East started morphing into the mountain man fur trapper of the West. I picture an experienced woodsman from Tennessee or Kentucky going out West where there's land as far as the eye can see and fortunes to be had in fur. All one had to do was run a trap line, establish a good trading relationship with the local Indian tribe, and hope you didn't lose half your face to old Grizz in the process. Now that's a very loose backstory to this look, or character if you will. It may not be historically accurate, but it's a look I'm satisfied with. I spent the last several months either making or modifying everything I'm currently wearing. Now having said that, let me show you guys some of my more recent things that I've made. For starters, here's my coonskin cap. I know y'all have seen me trap several raccoons in my traps over the years. I figure why not make a hat out of one. Yeah, get it down here so y'all can get a better look at it. Yeah, his, uh, his ears would have been probably about right here. Uh, decided not to have his face in front. I'm sure y'all have seen that variation, but I wanted to keep it simple since it's the first one I've ever made. And decided not to put a liner inside it. I wanted to keep it natural. It's all hand stitched. But, I think it turned out pretty good, but then again, I'm biased. <laughs> like the way his tail blended in with the sides. It turned out real nice. Alright, well here's another project I've been real proud of. Pucker toe moccasins. I made these out of brain tan deer hide. And this hide came from a buck I shot two years ago. As you can see, I double sold these. And that's not only for the added protection, but for the uh, extra comfort as well. Big toe's about right there, so it's a nice snug fit. You gotta say, these things feel great out here. Been real pleased with them. All right, well last here, let me show you guys my walking stick. In fact, I just finished this up yesterday. It's made out of cedar and feels really good in my hand thinking about doing a whole video just on my walking stick probably in the near future. Keep an eye out for that. 